Ah, hello. Uh, today's lesson is about leveling. Uh, what the leveling is for, what the leveling equipment is, uh, looks like and what does it do, and um, what are the, the problems or mistakes that can go right, wrong on the site and how you can avoid them. This is a typical leveling instrument. Um, uh, the leveling, uh, previously they were called a dumpy level, and later on they were called automatic level. So still the, the usual name for a level is called dumpy level. What the um, dumpy level was the original equipment that came on, and what you had to do, there was a knob on the side, you had to click the knob for the for the crosshair uh, to to flick up and down and settle. When it settled, then you could take the reading. Those equipments gradually became obsolete and automatic levels came. This is an automatic level. And what essentially they do, you don't need to flick that uh, uh, button anymore. And the, the instrument itself automatically stays level. When you turn it left or right, when you take the reading, it's, it's already level. And it will adjust itself, so it's even slightly, if the bubble is slightly out of um, center, it will adjust itself for, to stay horizontal. So, uh, so you can call it automatic level or dumpy level. Uh, so what is the job of a level? Essentially, the instrument is set up on a tripod. Say this is your, your level, and its function is to stay level. So you will be looking, as you turn it around 180 degrees, 360 degrees, it will stay level. Now, we need to know the height of the instrument in order for it to do anything meaningful. And the height of what we call is the height of collimation. The height of collimation, the way it's obtained is by holding a staff uh, like this one. This is a typical staff. Uh, we will hold this on a benchmark, a temporary benchmark. Supposing you have a point on the floor, like a nail on the floor or a mark on the wall, which you know what we call that is TBM for temporary, a temporary benchmark. And we have a value for it, for example, at 65,000 meters, or 65 meters, or 65,000 millimeters. If I hold the staff on the TBM, and I take a reading, so I hold the staff on the TBM, the staff is graduated, and if I take a reading, for example, 1.2 meters on the staff, then the height of collimation will be 65 plus 1.2 will be 66.2. That will be the height of the instrument. So that instrument will have that height. Once we know the height of the instrument, we'll have finished with the TBM. If we hold the uh, staff somewhere else, for example, at another point over here, and we hold the staff and we take a side to it and read, for example, one meter on the staff, for example, that means the bottom of the staff is one meter below the height of the collimation. So if height of collimation is 66.2, that level will be 65.2. So that is the object of the leveling. Leveling is to transfer heights or to find the heights of the points that we don't know. But what we don't have, we need to find out the height of the instrument first. And the way we do that is that we hold the staff on the benchmark or temporary benchmark and <coughs> we take a reading, that will be called a backside reading. And so we add the, the, height, the value of the temporary benchmark to the backside reading, and that will give us the height of collimation. The way, uh, first of all, before we go too far, I just want to go through the staff. A typical staff is either a four or five meter staff. Um, it starts from zero, and it shows a graduation shown every 100 mil. For example, this is 3.1. 3.2, 3.3, that's 3 meters, 300 mil. Then every one of these lines are about 10 mil, so that's 3 meters, 310, 3, 3, 3 meters, 320, 3 meters, 330, 40, 50. So each E is 50 mil. So that's 3350, 3360, 3370, 3380, 90, 3 meters, 400. So <coughs> on the other side of the staff, there's also uh, graduation marks. Uh, these are for two millimeters, so for example, it says 2780, 2790, 2800, and uh, millimeters gap, so 10 millimeters, every millimeter is 
shown in here. It shows to the nearest 10 no uh, millimeters uh, markings, but in here we have millimeters. So we can use this slide for precision leveling. So if you want, for example, to find out if the level of floor is to plus or minus one or two millimeters, we can't use this slide because we are guessing to the nearest couple of mil. But in here we can see exactly to half a millimeter or even a third of a millimeter, we can see. So if you do very precision leveling, uh, not too far away, but let's say in a room or something, we can see the, the markings. So we turn this side and we use the back of the stuff. Otherwise, we usually use this side. Leveling is, uh, we have this format, we write back side. Sorry, back side. Uh, intermediate side. Four sides, 